just talk about the Cam and Owens for right now. Yeah. Lama Sue and Nala say have a conversation. They're talking about how the Empire's mission on Bracca to dispose of Clone Force 99 interferes with their contingency plan. And Lama Sue is like, we need one of these bounty hunters to bring back the child, confirming that they were the ones who hired Fennec. And then Lama Sue's like, we need to bring in the bigger guns. Yeah, to get this kid back, and then Nala says, "Like, well, uh, why, why, why do we need to do this?" Which gave me the impression that Nala say has completely different intentions from Lama Su. Yeah, and that's that's where I was a little confused. And tell me what your thoughts on this were. But I was a little confused there because they let Omega go. Yeah, but so here's like, here's the other thing too. Nala say let Omega go, but did she tell Lama mm-hmm. Su that? Does he know? Is he in on that? Or do they have totally different intentions? You'd certainly get that vibe in this scene where we're talking about. But what are their intentions? Let's theorize on that for a little bit, because the contingency plan thing, that was like a big line, right? You know, yeah. like, what, what are they planning? What could possibly be going on here? And I don't know. I, I gen- genuinely don't know. Maybe the listeners have some ideas or maybe you have some ideas, but I don't know. Okay. It's very interesting. <laughs> Lama Sue sounds interested in getting Omega back with Clone Force 99 intact, but Nala Se seems very interested in just Omega. They're keeping secrets from one another, clearly. I don't think they're on the same page. I think something else is going on here. I don't know why they want Omega back, especially because, again, Nala Se let her go. It's very interesting. Yeah, and I think it's supposed to be, it's like the same thing as, you're right, it's similarities to Mandalorian here. You have the, the child versus Omega. We felt the same way with little Grogu. We're like, what, what's oh. happening? And I don't think you're supposed to know, right? It's like, and we do see more similarities later on, right? With the cliffhanger, we, which we can talk about towards the end. Um, Mandalorian, if you think about it too, they're trying to clone Grogu. They're trying to clone him and do like a yeah. force sensitive army thing. Well, that could be very similar to what they're trying to do with Omega. I don't know what the Empire's intentions are with Omega if they have any intentions at all. I don't all. think they do. I don't think they know about this yet. I think it's purely Lama Sue and Peter Pumpkin. And, and Nala Say. <laughs> Say. I, they are the ones doing this. Because if you remember in Mandalorian 2, the guys who are cloning them, they have the Kaminoan uh, little oh thing on their, on their That's badges funny. too. So, so the Empire is connected with Kamino in Mandalorian. And I think we're going to see how that connection starts throughout this season and like in a obviously in a deeper way than just Tarkin coming over and being like no more clones you know maybe Omega is the Kaminoans reason to keep the Empire uh speaking with the Kaminoans because remember they're not going to make money anymore because they're not producing any more clones so maybe Omega is the link and the, the reason why they're interested in keeping Omega and get, bringing her back is maybe she is force sensitive or something and they're saying to the Empire hey we can offer you something different from clones, not the army, get your conscripted soldiers or whatever, but oh. Omega's force sensitive. We can offer you something more and, and better. Now, wow. I don't know that that's hundred percent correct. I mean, obviously Nama, Lusa, let her go. Uh, <laughs> but do you think that that's possible? That that's the reason why. Dude, that's fantastic. I'm so glad you brought up the Kaminoan symbol in Mandalorian because I was aware of that, but I definitely did not think about it for, like when this conversation came up. So that's a fantastic tie-in, dude. That's amazing. And I could totally see that being the reason why the Kaminoans are, are like, hey, we still have stuff that we can give you. They're kind of scared about like losing their um, source of income. So yeah. that makes perfect sense to me. That's an amazing theory. Wow, right. great work. You're already off to such a hot start here, Matt. Look, this is look great. At, look at me. And I have some great other similarities and things to draw up later. So stay tuned. 